Guys and girls, in today's episode, I'm gonna teach you two super awesome advanced football skill moves. And more specifically, we're gonna learn two awesome ways to flick the ball over yourself with your heel, because let's be honest, those kinds of skills always look super awesome. Let's go. Today's footwear comes from the Adidas Initiator Pack, which of course introduced us to the brand new leather beast that is Copa 19. The pack also offers visual updates on the other silos, while the Predator has been equipped with a new rubber patch on the heel area to give it a meaner look and perhaps even some more protection for your feet. But now, on to the first skill, which this time I'm not even gonna try and name. So here's what it looks like. Now, the mindset of this skill is that you can either use it as a really cool way of flicking the ball up or you can lift the ball with your heel over yourself as well as your defender if you happen to have the defender right on the other side of your back. And essentially what you just want to do is roll the ball back with your weak foot, lift it up with the inside of your strong foot and once again heel it over yourself with the heel of your weak foot. And if we take all the steps a little bit closer, you want to start off by having the ball in front of you underneath your weak foot and you want to roll the ball back and immediately step across your body with your weak foot like this. Now why you want to do that is pretty simple. You are basically positioning yourself as well as your body for the next step of the skill which is of course you flicking the ball up like this. And what you want to make sure is that you actually lift the ball high enough off the ground so you can get the right angle to heal the ball over yourself. Think about it. If you end up healing the ball in a position like this, well we can kind of everybody see that my heel is pointing this direction and we want it to go over our bodies. So we need to be in a position like this. You want to lean over a little bit and have your heel pointing this direction, which obviously makes sense with the basic laws of physics. And if we combine all the steps, you should end up with a skill that looks like this. Defend on your back, lift the ball up and go. Now, the skill number two is actually one of my favorite football skill moves of all time. And while I mainly use it as a flick-up move, if you have the balls to pull this off against an opponent and a defender, you are a proper bowler. Now, just like with the previous skill, we're gonna start off with the ball underneath our weak foot in front of us. But unlike with the first skill, where we step across our body after rolling the ball back, this time we're actually gonna roll the ball through our legs like this, before moving on to the most important step of this skill, which is flicking the ball up with the toes of your strong foot behind your butt like this. Now, what you wanna do, I'm gonna demonstrate this sideways to you guys. You roll the ball back, like I just said, you let the ball go over your butt. You flick the ball up with your toes in the air and perform this weird scissor kick like this. You roll the ball back, flick it up and immediately heal the ball over yourself. And just like with the previous skill, you want to make sure you are leaning forwards while preparing yourself for the heel strike. Because just like we learned in the previous skill with the laws of physics, if your heel is pointing there, the ball is going to go over there and we are trying to make the ball go over our heads. So you need to lean forward and heal the ball in a position like this. And when you put all the pieces together, you should end with a skill that looks like this. So guys and girls, those were two awesome skill moves that you can work on next time you go out to the pitch. And once again, I just have to say, I absolutely love healing the ball over my head because it makes me feel good and I believe it makes me look like a really good football player. Also, I need your input down in the comment section below. Let me know, were these two skills actually advanced or do you want to learn something perhaps even harder or something a little bit more easier next time? It's all happening down there in the comment section below. And while you're at it, you might as well subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the green bubble right next to my head and watch some more awesome skill tutorials by clicking these two videos down below on your screen. That's it for today. I'm out.